This diagram is actually frequency versus the shielding effectiveness. From this diagram, you can see that if your source is actually electric field, then a simple shielding will be able to do the trick. Basically, you can see that the shielding effectiveness is quite high, at most 200 dB. If your source is actually under plane wave, again, your shielding should be much more easier. As you can see from here, the shielding effectiveness is at most close to 120 so-called dB. So basically, you won't have any issue. However, if your noise source is actually magnetic field, then you probably will have some challenge, especially at low frequency. You can see over here, at low frequency, typically it don't have any form of shielding effectiveness. The shielding effectiveness only increase at higher frequency. Let's take a close look under the electric field. When your source is actually electric field, the total loss for electric field is actually obtained by a combination of absorption and also reflection. The multiple reflection B is normally neglect. As you can see from here, the shielding effectiveness for electric field is already so high, so therefore we can actually ignore the B term. At low frequency, reflection loss is actually the primary shield mechanism for electric field. So basically, at low frequency, you can see that the reflection actually reduces with frequency. But at lower frequency, basically it will be dominated by reflection. However, at high frequency, absorption loss will be the primary shielding mechanism. So from here, you can see that at higher frequency, this is actually contributed by the absorption. So basically, this is the shielding against electric field. Let's take a look on the shielding against magnetic field. As I mentioned earlier on, under this low frequency, the reflection is not effective at all. So therefore, when the frequency further increase, absorption come in, then we have some form of shielding against magnetic field. Okay, so again, if you want to shield against magnetic field, basically will be a combination of absorption and also the reflection. Because the magnetic field shielding is rather bad, so therefore we need to consider the multiple reflection. This number can be quite significant, especially at a lower frequency. So hence, we may have some challenge if we want to shield against magnetic field. In short, okay, basically the characteristic impedance of a conductor, they actually increase with frequency. Okay, so basically when the frequency actually increase, the reflection loss actually decrease. So therefore, reflection, you can see the trend that they will actually reduce as the frequency actually increase. The absorption loss, on the other hand, they actually increase with frequency. Okay, because the skin depth actually decreased with frequency. 